sun's starting to come up. Oh, the pond froze over. It was completely thawed out yesterday evening. Hopefully we don't have a lot of messes in here this morning. We'll see. Oh, it's pretty warm in here. Morning, guys. Morning. How are you? How are you? Hi, Marcella. Hi, Whitey. There you go, guys. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Curly. Hi, Copper. <laughs> Copper. Copper and Lola go on home today. Not sure exactly what time. Hi, Lola. There's Buddy. Good morning, Buttons. I'm glad you survived the night. It got cold, didn't it? It did. It got cold. There you go, Buttons. Hi, Annie. Good morning. There you go, Annie. Go on outside. Morning, Mixter. You gonna growl at me this morning, Bruni? Look at her. She, she did great all week. And then yesterday she started growling at me. Just out of nowhere. Did you start growling at me yesterday, huh? You did, huh? You did. When I drain the water at night, I always throw extra water in the bucket just in case of early morning messes. Yeah, you get to go home today, Lola. You and uh, Copper. Pretty sure that's all I have today. Yeah, I've got Lola, Copper leaving today. And then I've got, um, Elvis, Elvis and Priscilla coming in, supposedly. Uh, Miss Bruni, we're gonna have to get her food right now because she'll just, uh, it's hard to get her back out once you, once you let her out the first time. Two of these. Quarter teaspoon of this stuff. I think it's like a probiotic, yeah. Let's get the two pills. All kinds of fun stuff. Get uh, buttons has a pill too. So let's get hers. And we'll come back and we'll clean Bernie's stall a little bit later if we can get her back out. Oh, you did pee in here. You did pee in here, buttons. Uh, come on, buttons. There you go, buttons. Let's we'll stretch your legs a little bit. At least she peed in the corner. <laughs> it's crazy, I can hike, I can do all kinds of stuff, go lift weights, but if I twist just right with this mop, or throwing the, the water out of the bucket, if I twist just right, I throw my back out. I've done it several times. I'm like, are you serious? Of all the things to throw your back out. I haven't had a cat in 
a little while. I don't know if you guys have seen these cat condos. They're actually pretty cool, the litter boxes in here, and a vent, and all the air comes in and out. But I haven't had a cat a cat in a long time. Oh, that's right, the last cat that was here actually barfed in the car, and then they gave the cat to me, and <laughs> I was like, eh, thank you. Oh, you're always hungry, buddy. I know. Come on, buttons. Buttons. Come on. There you go. We're pretty spry this morning. You look pretty spry this morning. Cool. The spray I did spray was uh, uh, tough and tuna. It does have disinfectant and some cleaner in there. So. Cool. I'm surprised Bruni's not growling at us this morning. She sure was growling at us last night. Elvis and Priscilla did show up. Hey guys. And then once, uh, once I get Lola and Copper <coughs> out of here, and cleaned up. I'm gonna move Elvis and Priscilla probably over here. Uh, that way they have the sunny side. And you know what? I could probably move Annie over here as well. So I'll probably do that. That way everybody has the sunny side. Oh, there's your little bone right there, bud. All right. Everybody's been out a couple times already today. But now I wanna get some gravel work done since that backyard is dried on up. Hey, buddy. Hey, Izzy. You guys are leaving tomorrow. Yeah, you are. What's up, Bernie? What's happening? Get this gate open. Oh, I gotta go around the other side. Get this gate open and move uh, some wheelbarrow full of gravel in different spots and rake it on out. Oh, you guys made a mess already? Ay caramba. <laughs> no, running a kennel is not all fun and games. You actually have to do work. <laughs> Holy moly, that sucker's on there. I haven't moved that one in a while. Weird. <laughs> There we go. Not bad. I'm about to rake some of that rock back. It's funny, I used to complain because I have my CDL. I would have trucking jobs where I would still have to get out and shovel. And here I am working for myself. And guess what I'm doing? I'm still shoveling. <laughs> you can't get away from it. Let's see, where should I start? Oh, we're definitely over here. Oh, on the edge. Smack myself with that thing. Did you see that? Bark. <laughs> Glad I dodged that one. I was wondering what they're carrying on about over here. The deer just getting to drink at the pond. Let's see if that'll shut. I don't know. stuff <laughs> all right now I can get uh, start getting the dogs out and uh, yeah start with you guys I think Buddy, 
Good girl, Isabella. Sometimes I have nicknames for some of these dogs and when Buddy first started coming in, he really likes to be pet. So I kind of nicknamed him Buddy Love. <laughs> Buddy Love. Okay, so I got all the gravel. Um, I got a really good, good coverage on it now, I think. You know, everything seeps down to the soil and then I did these cuts, these ditches around. So the whole, look at this guy, Mr. Buddy. Isabella. You guys are good dogs. But I did this cut, these ditches, and literally the whole pad like airs out. Cool. What do you think? You guys were a pretty good help. You moved a couple of rocks, I think. I saw you. <laughs> Sometimes I catch Buddy eating rocks, man. It's weird. You know, you just do what you can do to keep going until you can afford to you know, improve it slowly but surely, you know, like I don't know if you guys have noticed these pads, but dogs have ripped up the flooring. So that kind of forced me to do something. And those pads, those horse stall mats, they'll, they're gonna last forever. So slowly but surely making things better and better. I moved over Annie on the west side here. She hung out with me for a while and I got her a little treat for dinner. and. Uh, but she's gonna be a lot better over here in the sun. I just got out Elvis and Priscilla. They just got here this morning. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Let's see, I gotta clean this one and I'm gonna move Elvis and Priscilla over here. What is it, Ruthie? What is it? What is it, Ruthie? You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, here we go. Ready, Curly? Ready? Ruthie's funny. She's like, oh, are you gonna get it this time? Ready? Ready, Ruthie? Ready? <laughs> funny. 4.15 now. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. I think I'm gonna run and get some dinner, but everybody's been out except for Marcella and Whitey because I'm saving them for this evening. Like I said, Whitey and Marcella, they, uh, they're here for a long time, so I'm gonna get them out quite a while this evening and hang out with them. But uh, you know, some afternoons, I I just have too much to do. So it's like, I gotta, I gotta stay on top of it and I can't really play with them too much. At least I can get them out. While I'm doing things, I do that for sure, but um, as far as actually just playing with them, so I, I was like, man, I'm shutting it down. I'm gonna throw some ball and hang out for, with everybody a little bit before the sun goes down. And that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, these guys are last, and then I'll be doing dinner, and then I'll be getting out Whitey and Marcella. All right, so I got the forest sounds on. Start calming everybody down for this evening, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I think eventually I'm gonna have to break down and get someone to help me out at least a day or two or something. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go get some supper and I think that's gonna be it for me today besides, besides getting him out again this evening, you know, after dinner and shutting everything up for the night.